ones in the this year. You know, all the ones in the Okay, I've heard the name before, One Punch Man. Uh -huh. Is that the one with the controversial graphic novel? No. Uh, or... No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Uh, what type of controversy? Um, somebody started whining and moaning there about political correctness and such. No, uh, this is an anime. Yeah, it's anime. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't exist in Japan. <laughs> Of course, all Caucasians have big eye and talk money. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant one twenty two. <laughs> WTF? <laughs> I have a periodic table. My dad's. I asked for it for my wall. My dad's wife sent it to me. I put it up, and I don't know all of them. But I'm sitting here looking. I go, something is not right here. And I look, hydrogen and helium had the same numbers. I said, wait, they screwed up the periodic table on the first element, or first uh, second element. <laughs> it was working. It was so Funko Pops must go away. <laughs> All right, we're in dangerous territory now, kiddos. Things I might actually be tempted to buy. I should have brought my Miles Morales Spider-Man just to show off. I did not expect to find unique homemade fudge. Good, I'm just doing some recording. So if you make it to GeekCon, make sure you make it over to name of your start business. Cinnamon Busted Nuts. 
Cinnamon roasted, cinnamon roasted nuts. The, the fudge is what I'm tempted to, but I do not need to. Watchman or yes. okay. I haven't lost my touch. No more Funko Pop. Sweet outfit. Mr. Joker, do you mind? Wow, there's a dinosaur. One night he goes off crazier than usual, and Mama goes to the kitchen to protect herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. Sweet. Check yourself out on Big. Uh, was it worth it? I'm going to upload a footage. I'm shooting live here. Um, just Google Big Howard 13, one word, no spaces. You'll see the channel. Was it worth it? I've only got a handful of followers, and my videos are pretty pathetic now. I got to get my computer up and going. Sweet Spider Man. Big Howard 13, was it worth it? What? Yep. Funko Pops. Must Sweet! This just keeps getting better by the minute. When I was in line, I said, yes, at last I'm amongst normal people. <laughs> oh, go to Dragon Con. Is that Dallas? Atlanta. Atlanta. It's an 80,000 person family reunion. Oh, that would be sensory overload. Five hotels, another building strictly for the dealer's room, and this three level is quite the size of this. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got the three day pass because the way my leg is, I'm, I'm not even going to make a full circle. Oh. This is everything nobody needs, but all the cool kids want. <laughs> Have a nice day, sir. How y'all doing? Only in Louisiana. Of course, I have a frog that guards my outside refrigerator. I call I, I call him Robert. Uh, he gets right up there between the freezer and refrigerator and sits there. It's with a, it's not cold enough to affect him, but with this hot temperature, I guess he's more comfortable. He's been there for a week solid. He'll go away for a bidet. Next thing I know, I go to get something out of the refrigerator. It's my spare. I do have a refrigerator in the house. So I go to pop something out and Rob's back. Oh, yeah.
Well, anybody that knows anything about Louisiana knows we have some of the most talented people in the world. And from what I've seen here at GeekCon, we definitely have some talented artists. How you doing? Good. Howard Burke, Big Howard 13. Good to see you, man. Good good I am now. recording. I see. Uh, uh, what is the name of your establishment? Sketching. Sketching Time Productions. Sketching Time Productions. Sketching Watkins, I'm the artist. Beautiful work. Thank you. My latest is all spread out here. Aquaman, Black Manta, Captain Sparkle Fingers. Here's Dan. <laughs> Here's uh, Captain Marvel. Do you have anything of Peter Tingle? No, no not yet. There's uh, Aquaman. And to go with uh, Skeletor. Shira. Oh. oh. Now that's what Netflix. Talk with you, man. Come back. That's what Netflix should have done. I you, saw it, and you're right. Uh, I, I went five, ten minutes. I'm like, I can't do this. Social justice. Yeah. Yep. Uh, um, I, I well, have you heard what uh, Regal Cinema's doing? No, what it is. Eighteen dollars a month, unlimited pass. Okay. Uh, all the movies you want to watch. Okay. And one of the things I'm doing well, on our, my channel, it's was it worth it? We watch it, we play it, we try it, we buy it, and like today, we're going to it, and sometimes we eat it. So you don't have to, and we answer the question, was it worth it? So I'm burning up a lot of movies I normally wouldn't go to. Sure, sure. Angry Birds 2. The birds are not angry. Yeah. And it, uh, the pigs and the birds have to bond together over a common enemy. Okay, okay. Uh, and, and I'm like, no, no, it's your, you're being paranoid, Howard. So you imagine <laughs> it. And at the very end, all the baby birds get together. Isn't it so much better when we all work together? I don't know about that. Sometimes yes. And well, sometimes yeah, but no. but what I want, what I want to, they were worried. I don't want to go see worried birds. I gotta ask this person yes. a question. Where did you get that shirt? <laughs> I got it off the Instagram. Ad. Really? Yeah. yeah, it kept popping up on my Instagram because I guess I was looking up Superman stuff. And, okay. Uh, the the company's called Sugar King, 1977. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Would you mind? Hey. Yeah. I don't know that Jeff will talk to you. That is too cool. What? Yeah. Sugar cane. Yeah, it, I think they're like 40 bucks. 45 bucks. You said 1977, I think. 1977. Awesome. Do they, is it different colors? Yes. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Awesome. And I would, like, if you order one, I would order a size or two larger. Because this is a large right here. And it gets kind of like a. Yeah. Got it. Got it. That is, it's a uh, 1977 sizes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we are not the same size as what we used to be. I got shirts I get from people all the time, and now they'll ask me, oh, what are you, about a medium? I go, I used to be. I'm like, and I'll put on a medium, and I'm like, this is not a medium. I would be happy if all the shoe companies would get together and establish one size. Or if the same shoe company would use the same size for all their shoes. I'm at I'm Asics. Yeah, okay. These here, 13s. Okay. I got a pair of 13s and some lower grade Asics, a half to a whole size difference. I go to Timberlands, 12s. Okay. Nike Cross Trainers, 12 and a half. Right, right. I see what you're saying. They need to use the same one measure. size right. fits all. Yeah. You do have some beautiful work, sir. Thank you. I appreciate and if you go, if you go, if you go to YouTube, type in Big Howard Thirteen. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna upload this footage when I get home. Okay, super. Big Howard uh, Thirteen. Yeah, no spaces, one word, okay. and the, and the channel's called Was It Worth It? Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh huh. I don't have hardly any followers. I'm hoping this will kickstart me. All right. And I do have a buddy. As soon as I get a hold of him on YouTube, he's gonna drop about six to eight hundred people on me. Awesome. Thank you. And the talent keeps rolling. Everybody knew Louisiana had great musicians, but apparently we have some of the most creative and best artists in the world also. This is the third booth where I've just seen incredible work. And it doesn't end. Yeah. Good. Those are decorative glass cutting boards. Beautiful. Thank you.
We do mouse pads and we do coasters. And you can per we can personalize and customize any of our products. That we do. Okay. So we and the name of your establishment is Plain and Fancy Things. Things. Yeah, we're right there in Keithville. Are you local? Uh, I live in Cushada. Okay. No, the reason is I'm shooting all this and I'll be uploading it tonight. Okay. I just started me a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So, if you're needing some personalized, exquisite material, uh -huh. plain and fancy things. Yeah. And I forgot to get the name of this gentleman's establishment. Sourbunny.com. Sour Sourbunny Productions. Creativity All those help kids with Oh, incredible. I'm having the time of my life. Now, this was almost bad of me. But you see, they got the little football booth set up. The what? A booth for football. And oh, everything. okay. And I'm looking. It's the one booth where nobody's at. Oh. And I went up to somebody on the other side. I said, you know, it's normally the opposite. We go When we go to these events, everybody's at the football booth. Nobody's at ours. <laughs> Well, you have a blessed day, and Thank keep you. up the beautiful work. We're at Studio Turtle Work. Like I just said a little bit ago, everybody knew Louisiana had great musicians. Apparently, we also have some of the best artists and other talents around. I just started me a YouTube channel, and I'm recording all this, and I'm uploading tonight. So, just Google Big Howard 13, one word, no spaces. You'll see the channel, Was It Worth It? The YouTube channel where we watch it, we play it, we try it, we buy it, and in this case, we go to it, and sometimes we even eat it so you don't have to, so we can answer the question, Was It Worth It? I like that. Check it out. Now, my first few videos, my computer's down, so there's no editing, and I'm shooting everything with a tablet. So, I mean, it's on the primitive end, but yeah. you got to start somewhere. And don't be fooled by just a few followers. I got a buddy on YouTube. As soon as I get a hold of him and he drops my name, I'll pick up 600 to 800 in one night. And we have more talent. Okay, boys and girls, my leg's about to give out. So I think we're going to head to the car and take a break and come back in a little bit. There you doing? Good. Self-published author? Yes, sir. How you doing? Good. Would you like to tell the audience a little bit about what your book's about? Um, this is a young adult novel. Um, it's got a Christian undertone, but it's paranormal. Very nice. It's basically heaven and hell fighting against each other. There's demonic vampires fighting against a shapeshifter that the angels have created over the human soul. Ah, oh, that's nice. Something with the Christian theme. Yeah. You want a book on that? The QR code takes you to Amazon. Okay. And if you all can scan this on the computer or phone or whatever, you can jump there also. I just started me a YouTube channel. Yeah. And so. I tried to vlog. I wasn't very good at it, though, because I could never remember to keep doing it. Yeah. Well, I, I'm shooting everything with the tablet right yeah. now. So there's like a blank space when I go to hit record. Then I get over there and get in the chair. And then there's like about three seconds of dead air as I go to turn it off. It's one of those things I'd wanted to do for ages. Do y'all go to the movies much? Well, the Regal just started $18 a month. All the movies you can watch. And that was the push I needed because I just didn't have enough things I could review, go yeah. to and everything. But with that there, I can you know do movie review. Yeah. Would you believe Dora the Explorer turned out to be a really good movie? No kidding. A uh, uh, five star for family entertainment. Holy cow. Huh. Yeah, you yeah, wouldn't expect. Well, actually, I felt like Uncle Creepy when I first walked in. <laughs> well, no, that started off with the young kids. And I saw the previews, and I'm like, I thought they were teenagers. I said, great, they're about to start checking my browsing history. And then a few minutes into it, they go 10 years later. 
and it just turned out to be a fun movie. And if you heard about Blinded by the Light, I got to see that. They shed it or a single one night early showing. I am not kidding. I laughed. I cried. I cheered. I even applauded at the end. One of the, I would give it six stars. It was socially acceptable. It was, yeah. And they got the another one about the guy who wants to be a race truck car driver and his dog. Uh, take the tissues. If you don't roll out some tears, you're not human. <laughs> well, Howard Burke, if you want to see your footage, Big Howard 13, one word. Look for Was It Worth It? The channel where we watch it, we play it, we buy it, we try it, and in this case, we go to it, and sometimes we eat it, so you don't have to. And we answer the question, was it worth it? And so far, Geek Kong has been very worth it. Big, Big Howard 13? Big Howard 13, no spaces. Got it. Yeah. Now, if you see my Twitter account, it has an ungodly number of dog pictures. But I did pick up 500 followers all the way from Dubai, France, Russia. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I looked and I'm like, and I forgot Yoshi. And I'm like, that's wrong. And then I'm like, oh, okay, that's supposed to be Yoshi. <laughs> May I? Absolutely. And I'm also recording. I think we found one of the more unique Mario costumes. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I'm terrified of it. Okay, do some movement. I'm going to do an animation shot. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> and if you want to see this footage, Google or go to YouTube, Big Howard 13, and you'll see my channel, Was It Worth It? Uh, most of the videos are primitive. I'm just starting. Your brother is funny. <laughs> you can catch yourself on YouTube. Sweet, Magic the Gathering. I got in right after the... Well, you know what the original name of, this, of the card game was? They had to change it after 9-11 because the original name of the card series was Jihad. Well, I shouldn't say that that loud. <laughs> that probably just got my YouTube video banned. Okay. <laughs> Is, is this the cards you did for Magic Gathering, sir? These are the sets that I've worked on, yeah. I've worked on a bunch of sets. You know, they do different sets. This is the I, I, I was around uh, before and around the Ice Age series. Don't tell me that because I don't know. Oh, okay. And the main reason I'm saying I don't know, they call me up and say, you want to do a card? And I go, sure. <laughs> I, don't, I can't tell you what series. I worked with Matt Wilson at one point. So you see, this is the Unstable, which is one of the newest things. That yeah, I was going to say, of. these are newer than the ones. And I'm... then if you keep going back, they go further and further back. See, like there. Yeah, the now, now, now there. we're getting into my, my time frame. Yeah. Beautiful work. No, I, I helped out an uh, old boy that was homeless. They made the mistake of leaving him at my house, came back, my entire magic collection and television was gone. <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished. Yeah, I've said that a lot. But that, and then you still well, this turn... This is just my extras. Yeah. And you still turn around and help the people again. Yeah. Well, have a blessed day, sir. Beautiful work. Ah! 
All right, this is going to be tomorrow's target, people. Leg's about to give out, so we're going to have to wrap it up for tonight. We, now we know where Michael Rooker's going to be. Barry Boswick. Uh, let's do the time warp. Oh, forgot the name. How can I forget a cult classic? Samantha Smith. Transformers. Michael Hughes. Pet Cemetery, Wes Craven's New Nightmare, Full House, Spawn, Tropic Thunder. I would not admit to Tropic Thunder. Mark Ryan, Transformers, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Trish Status, WWE Hall of Fame. WWE Diva of the Decade, seven times world WWE Women's Champion. Oh, they're going to have everybody here tomorrow. Okay, for our wrestling fans, they're going to be having Kevin Nash, WWE Hall of Fame, New World Order founder, Magic Mike Movies, The Punisher, wonder which one. Lori Petty, A League of Their Own, Orange is New Black, Point Break, Free Willy. As you can also tell, the voice is starting to give way. Now we're in the office territory, and he also is in People of Earth. Oscar Grisel, Leslie D. Baker, The Office, Puppy Dog Pals. Richard Blake, Break, Game of Thrones, Rob Zombies 31, Batman Begins, Three from Hell, and this is our target, this is the one we want, Jordy LaForge, Kuta Kente, Reading Rainbow, Lamar, Lamar Burton, he was in the iconic roots. He taught million, or at least inspired millions of children to read in Reading Rainbow. And he was the first officer on, a, on Starfleet to openly have a disability and overcome it. LeVar Burton, primary target. I guess I should rephrase that. shirt. That's a collection of Funko Pops. Funko Pops, Funko Pops, as far as the eye can see, a collector's dream, a pocketbook's nightmare. 
Anti venom, is that the glow in the dark? Uh, I don't know. It usually has a sticker, yeah, but I, I know there was one. I want I love the venom. Yeah, I, I love venom characters. Wow, the regular's going for that already? I, I, I've still got him. I didn't, I didn't know. Sweet! I just got the Miles Morales Foot Locker Limited Edition. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, did you see Big Bang Theory when they were trying to get tickets for Comic Con? Well, fresh, refresh. I'm sitting here, add to cart, add <laughs> server error, server error. And when I hit process or pay for, system failure. Oh, uh, that's, that's the worst. And, and I have yeah. to reboot. Well, not reboot, but I mean, you know, reload the page. Uh, and by, you can't even get in at this point. Yeah, at that point. So, and they already told you until you received your shipping notice, you may not have one. Right. And so I went to my bank account, pulled it up, cha-ching! <laughs> yeah, I just did an unboxing of it last week. Oh, yeah? I started, well, in fact, I'm sorry we are recording. It's not live. <laughs> but uh, I, I just started me a YouTube channel. Okay. Big uh, Howard uh, 13 just, presents Was It Worth It? The channel where we watch it. We play it. And they're fixed. Well, we watch it. We play it. We buy it. We try it. In this case, we go to it. And sometimes we even eat it. So we can ask the question <laughs> Was it worth it? Right. And I did an unboxing of my Miles Morales. And I've also managed, finally, I got a launch pad. So I have the entire Darkwing Duck. Oh, collection. okay. Yeah. Oh, and if you're an old fan of Darkwing Duck, catch to some of the last episodes of DuckTales. Disney's bringing him back. Okay. I, I will, uh, yeah, okay, I'm in for that. So yeah. I, have that up. I am the fear that flaps in the night. <laughs> I am the nail in your tire on the way to work. I am Darkwing Duck. <laughs> I even stole this name uh, when I was going to school at Northwestern. Yeah. I found out you put whatever name you want in the, in the phone book. I, I had my name listed as Drake Mallard. <laughs> Now one of my Twitter or my one of my odd handles, Drake Dalton, but the full thing is Drake Mallard Dalton. <laughs> I don't want Disney coming after me. Yeah, because that will have yes. Must go. I may do something stupid like buy something. Uh, I gotta. If I've gone this far, at least I've got to look at the Star Wars. Excuse me. Did you see any? Uh, no, sir. Did you see any Sour Patch Kids? I want to I see what they're getting for the green. I haven't seen them since I've been here today. Uh, the only one worth getting is the green one. Yep. No. Yeah. 